Hi, this is Christian. And I'm Vera. And it's almost Land Rover time. We gotta go on a walk today because our Discovery 3 is in our garage taken apart and not ready to drive it around. <laughs> we gotta fix the brake lines and do some corrosion protection and also we want to service the parking brake module. And this is what this video will be about. Part one of uh, who knows many. We hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> See you later. So I got this special tool made here and this is what I used to chisel the muffler out. It took about an hour grinding this a couple of times, heating it up, red glowing. Oh, you do fit much better through than I do. We got the muffler out. It was a pain. It was quite difficult. Now we can get this heat shield out. <laughs> so we got the heat shield out without damaging anything. It's high, it's high, so. And there is the line here. Look. Oh man, just because of that stupid. And it's the line. Looks just fine. Yeah, but not back there. Oh man. Here, see, see the corrosion here? This is what he meant. No, I don't see it. Yeah, there. I still don't see it. There is the parking brake module, so we're gonna service that at the same time. I don't see the parking brake module. There is the parking here. I use this. There's the parking brake module. That big we, black box? Yes, and then gonna, that has to come off. Uh, I'm not going no. to take that off. So, it's incredible that there's no rust up here. Yeah, well, there was the heat shield. Oh. But when you look in this corner here, look, Why come over here. Why is there a heat shield on the car? Huh? Because there is a, the exhaust below it, and it's a lot of heat getting up there. Oh. So look, wherever you have the muffler, oh. there is the heat shield. And I this don't is have all, a heat shield, and I have a you muffler. You have a heat shield, really? yes. So what we got to do now next what is... is that? It looks really rusty. Ah, that is the sway bar. That's the sway. Oh, I hope yeah. we never have to change that one. Yeah, it can only be changed body off on the rear axle. Yeah. We're well, going to have to do something about this corrosion here when the brake lines are off. When we got all this out, we can do corrosion protection up and there. And then we have like two or three videos. The next step is to take the car apart. Now it's Saturday in the evening, six o'clock. I'm just done. Six we started at eight doing yeah. stuff, you okay, know, good. And I'm just done. Yeah, you are. Yes, I, you know, okay. you can go in now and lay on the couch and play with your new camera. I have and to do the laundry. Do I have a new camera? Yes. And you Ah, I got a new camera. And and I have to That's do my laundry, first I have to do dinner, you know, yeah. I have a Let me, let me film you while you're complaining. Okay, there. <laughs> you're so mean to me. I'm so you, you do you do fit much better through there than I. I don't well, see actually, it. it's okay now because the spare wheel is gone. I can get it out like this. Okay, ah, done. We got to take the wheels off. We got to take everything off because we want to get this parking brake module out. Yes, but and we want to make a lot of room to get to the brake lines. You know, the camera has an auto start stop when you say. Start recording it, stop. And when you say it again, it stops. With this new camera, there's a lot less work to do for you now. <laughs> so I'm just here to okay, take so all the put, blame we'll put the lights if something right goes wrong. It. Okay, we built this thing here. So we can actually support the vehicle all the way in the back on the frame. I gotta get the high quality Amazon, Amazon choice. choice. 
and I'm raising it this crazy way, in this crazy way, because the garage isn't high enough. Ah. A little bit, still loose, sitting good. Watch the cat. Yes, I'm watching the cat. Yeah, that's exactly the right size. Now we'll put this underneath. See? Done. And we got these special made box here. So this is looking good now. Stop recording. Oh shit. What? Our center bearing is broken. What? Okay, see how this is completely broken? There I can put my fingers through here. So we're gonna need a new center bearing. And this is probably why our drive shaft is rubbing here. See these rubbing marks? And that gives us something to do. So now what we got here is we got now access as good as possible to the brake lines. See, I installed this new rubber boot just a few weeks ago and it's already broken again. If you guys know why these boots rip, I would like to know what is the recipe to fix this because this is at least the fourth one I put on and they are between 15 and 30 euros. Because the other side doesn't rip. Yes, but that is the tire with the most... Oh yeah, that's the tire which is running faster, you mean? <laughs> no, but it's the most abuse. Yeah, definitely. This tire no, has more abuse than, than all other tires. <laughs> I got it loose now? Yeah. You got it? I hope so. Yeah, put you some light on it. Yeah. Now, this should have been the last one. There is one more, right? Yes. Can you see it? Yes. I it's, gotta get my breaker box. Oh, from. I think there's water. There's something dripping from it. Yeah, there's water. Why? What? No, this is actually not water. This is brake fluid. Yes, I think you Hang broke. On. What does brake fluid taste like? Sweet. So I was messing with that brake line connector just to get the brake line out and now it's dripping brake fluid. So I gotta say this TÜV inspector saved our life. I think we should send him a Christmas card. That's it, right? Yeah. I bought these at Amazon and we should be able to get the brake lines open. Oh. You... So you gotta go over here. Yes. Otherwise, I'll yeah. film because that camera listens to me. If I say something, <laughs> it follows the command. Yeah, it doesn't follow my command. Yeah. yeah, see, this one fits. I googled and I found that it is an 11 millimeter. And of course, I bought all the ones in case I'm wrong. Because the worst thing is if you buy something and it's wrong and your wife is with you. <laughs> I need a cutter. Where is that one? I'm just messing with a new camera. So do a tail whip. With, not with tech. Oh, okay. Then do some other stuff. So I'm, I don't this? see anything. Well, you didn't film how I took this I with my superior off. Amazon wrench for four ninety nine. I took this out here. But this is where most people already break something. Yeah, we broke something. Remember well, the, the other one is dripping. Yeah. So you actually knew it was here yes, in my I... messy little trailer. Yes, I know everything. You don't want to get close with this camera. We're going to join the line right here, right? Join? We're going to join it. And in order to join something, you got to split it apart first. We we'll leave this longer. I cut this now. Watch it. There. Oh. Brake lines are off. And now we got to get them out in one piece. See, maybe they are crisscrossed. So what we're going to do is we put a tie wrap on one of them. Put a tie wrap on this one. Of course, you do this after you cut it. So you're not 100% sure that you've done it correctly. <laughs> right? So you're only like 50% sure. Can't you see the cuts? I could do a forensic analysis to make sure the cut, <laughs> the cut matches. We got the brake line out. Um, now we do the other side. Do it the same way. 
Philip, andere mm. Seite. Oh, it's dripping. Yeah. Oh. Watch out. It's dripping for me. It's, drip it's dripping in your face. In my face? Yes. I got it. There it is. We got the full brake line out <gasps> without bending it. It rasted to such a thin wall that me touching it to get it out of this plastic clip must have ruptured it. So this camera is um, full HD and also 4K, but I got it set to 1080 at 30 frames per second. I think this is good enough for the type of video we make. So this is the brake line, exactly the same stuff as already used on the vehicle. It even has the same color. It is 15 euros for five meters. It is steel because copper brake lines are not allowed in Germany, period. And I bought a flaring tool to produce these flares. You guys are gonna see this in a moment. And then I bought a bending tool. And now I got to duplicate basically this first brake line. This is the short one. I gotta get these bends as close as possible. I don't know nothing about brake lines, but I got now the old brake line here and I got the new one bent right next to it. So I think this is as close as I can get it. I think this distortion here actually is not supposed to be, so I made this a straight section all the way to over here. Now I'm going to put this flare on and I'm also going to put this flare already on. I, you know, I forgot to put the nut over it, so that sucks. From Hassett. I thought this thing is huge when I looked at the Amazon picture. So now we're gonna put the flare on, and I got this flaring tool here from Amazon. Um, not expensive, and I don't want to forget to put the nut on first, uh, like I did before. And the flaring tool comes with two pieces, the die piece to make the actual flare, and this is an end stop. And when I start this, I put this in here, tighten these bolts up, and I put the end stop in. Now, tighten the bolts up, and tighten these lightly. I push the brake line over, Tighten these slightly. Now I got a gap here. Now I push it over this way. I got exactly the right length, like this. Now I tighten these all the way. Now this way I'm sure that this is now nicely in the right position. There's also a line where I can see this. I take this one out. Now I got to put this special grease on to the die. I'm not smart, I read the instructions. Now I gotta crank this in. Now it's all the way in. Now I can take it back out. And we should have a nice flare if everything worked okay. I think, I'm no expert, but I think this looks pretty darn good. Okay, now we can put the coupler on and do the other flare 
underneath the car. Wow, I'm impressed. Okay, the other end, we got to get it exactly to this distance here. See, there are two different kind of flare nuts. These have here some threads missing. That's Land Rover. You got to use the ones with the few threads missing here. See, mine are the same one from Amazon. Perfect. Damn. Gonna have to open up this bend. There's no other way. Lucky me. Same procedure as every year. Open it. Okay, now we gotta get this bend back in. I'm happy with this. Before we can put these lines back on, we gotta get some corrosion protection done underneath the car. And we gotta bend the second line. I got the second brake line now done. I changed a little bit my strategy. I tie wrapped it step by step and followed the bend of the original brake line. Now I gotta do the flares. That's it. Here we got now our brake lines. So, old and new. Second line. My dad's gonna, he's gonna route it in. So they roughly in place, you can see this here. This is where it will fit. So we're gonna fasten them now. So there is now one side. Here's my pre-bent line. And it's possible to see that this is not entirely bad. You can see the mount. You can see the kink right here. So I can try to install them now and clip them back in. You're going away because it's Christmas and you're not helping me on the car? Sister's not coming. We can celebrate with anybody. So okay, so I'll 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 be here. Yeah, so we're working on and on. Let's route this baby perfectly. So I got new plastic clips from Amazon. Awfully cheap. Hopefully they fit. The original ones look look a little beefier. I only need like three or four of them. So I intend to mount them with these square nuts here. Now I got a bigger hole through here and the idea is to put this square nut into this hole to give it some more hold down. Not bad. How about that? They are a little bit too short. Now there is a mount missing. Let's get this mount taken care of. Working all by myself. Ah, oh, this is not bad. Damn. That's it. Uh, this should make the tooth guy happy. Check this out. That's now on the inside where the line is running. There. And it's going there. You can exactly see how the bends kind of match the chassis. See there where they crisscross? And it goes up there. And so that pre bending made a lot of sense. See how this looks from here? There are my halfway self-made clips. There's an original one. 
goes over here and then there is the line here you can see it nicely kinked not touching the chassis beautiful I think I think if Lyle Kingsbury would see this he would be all proud of me let's see if we can sort this now I'll cut the line off first a little bit there Working here by myself. So I can tighten this one now. I made them a little short. One line is basically done. So now we do the second side. Okay, put this on here. Take the flaring tool off. There we go. And like I said, it's a little short. Made it. Ah, oh, it's okay. I can bend this here a little bit. And it's not touching the chassis. How about that? My marking tie wraps. Whew. Twenty PSI should be enough. Pump it back up to 20. Front wheels we do when the car is off the jack stands. Can't get to them right now. It's cold today, so we're running a heater, and that's where the noise is coming from. Ah. I forgot my copper paste. Copper paste Why? is here. Well, I have the copper paste. It's cold today, huh? What? It's cold tonight. What's the weather today? You're sitting on my power ratchet. Oh. It's a Christmas holiday. Oh boy. Perfect, huh? With this little tiny two-ton jack. Well, what about the big one? The big one don't fit here. You are completely in my way. Oh.
No, you forgot it. It's you forgot, your job. You forgot to take the wire out. <laughs> didn't sound right. It was perfect. Right, I plugged in the air suspension too. So we're all ready to go again. Okay, in order to put the muffler back on, I gotta raise the vehicle and I raise it from the outside in a cool way. What? Why are you turning on the... Because otherwise it don't raise. Didn't you watch our oh. own video? Oh, I'm sorry. Just stop it now. I give it whatever it goes. It's not going anywhere anymore. Yeah, it's running the compressor. Wow, did you see this? What? Why is this door sticking out here? <gasps> I think we bend it. We bend it by raising it in the wrong way? No, it's a framed vehicle. You know, you can lift it anywhere on the frame. No, here it's perfectly smooth. I think we got hit by something. Well, it's only like two millimeters. <gasps> it's in the it's in the tolerance. The Challenger is worse off the factory. <laughs> yeah, so I gotta put the muffler now back on. So let's get this prepared. We first gotta grind the inside of the muffler out. Because it took us an hour. An hour? It was more like two hours. To get the muffler out. I got plenty of this on. And yeah. here is Remember where this bolt was? I gave this to you. I told you, I just told you it's in the red toolbox. In the red toolbox. Here. Okay. Come and on. I told it, I just said it to yeah. him. Platz. I'm not a dog. What we gotta do now is set up all the blocks. Oh my. And then we can maneuver the muffler underneath the car. So roughly to here. Now you need to come down here. So I gotta tighten this a little more. Oh yeah, maybe I should have tightened it at all. <laughs> it's, only, it's only a brake line. <laughs> so you can come out now. You've been down there now for three days. The only thing left is now a test drive. But what about the spare wheel? We don't need a spare wheel and now. I, I gotta go in. You gotta go we, in. Before you we. gotta go somewhere where normally women go together. <laughs> oh. So that was a big repair. Or you wanna go on the test drive with us. Okay, so now we got all things fixed, what we needed to fix for passing our TÜV inspection. Well, a test drive isn't really much fun with new brake lines. There's no difference in driving, <laughs> right? It's good to know that the brake lines are working. So, yeah. and we got new brake fluid in. We found out that our sender bearing is completely rotten. That's right. And so I So the next big problem. Yeah. So <laughs> luckily we found something else to fix. So the... Yeah. I ordered a new drive shaft and I'm gonna make a video about drive shafts. Yes. Because I know something about drive shafts, that's for sure. And we didn't and know that because it was underneath the heat shield. So we're gonna fix that center bearing by replacing the entire drive shaft very soon because I wasn't successful replacing the center bearing on its own. <laughs> that will most likely be one of our next videos. Now all the products I use to fix those brake lines I'm gonna put links into the video description. Remember, copper brake lights are not allowed in Germany unless there is a specific service bulletin by the manufacturer. There isn't one from Land Rover. It wasn't that bad. Well, you weren't around when I did the Yeah, bending. I did other stuff, okay? <laughs> I can't yeah. spend I did, that 24 hours with... I did have to struggle when I bend them. Yeah, but I'm sure um, with a copper line it wouldn't have been that much easier. Well, you just tie wrap them over the old ones. That's not allowed in <laughs> Germany. <laughs> I think it was um, really a fun repair because it saves a lot of money, something like this. And it was bad weather and cold anyhow. 
and raining. <clears throat> so we got it all done. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you next time.